HHS has considerable authority over her rules, end quote. Madam Secretary, in yes or no, did you make the decision to publish this end-of-life payment rate without allowing for public comment? Yes, sir. Well, I appreciate your forthrightness on, on that. I, I, I really do. But, you know, it flies in the face of the comment, the, the response that you just gave to uh, my colleague from Tennessee regarding the 1115 uh, waiver program. Uh, and you described how it formally worked uh, between the department and directly with the governor's office and calling for more oversight and public hearing and uh, transparency. So uh, would you agree that in the future, uh, that rather than making that decision unilaterally, even though you have the power to do it, uh, that it may be a little time for public comment would have been appropriate in regard to that. Congressman, the uh, rule, as you know, was uh, followed the outline that was directed in the Affordable Care Act in terms of the provisions for a um, wellness visit. In addition, we looked at the original medic welcome to Medicare visit and the one element that wasn't consistent. Yeah, I, I wish I, I wish I had enough time to listen to your but, full answer, well, but if you could respond did, yes or no to that, more we, transparency, we got more feedback. opportunity for public yes, comment. Sir. And that's why it's not part of the final rule. We decided that it was And I would hope that that is a it. yes answer. Uh, let, me, let me move on. In, in the President's uh, uh, fiscal year 2012 budget, uh, your department requested $93 million for information and education in order to sign American workers up for the CLASS Act. This is that same program that you just recently told the Senate Finance Committee, I guess a few weeks ago, that the program was unsustainable. Now, those are your words. Do you believe it's appropriate for the administration to solicit money from American workers for a health program that is, quote, totally unsustainable? Sir, my comment was that it was unsustainable as the legislation was crafted but I was given considerable flexibility and we are in the process of making, I think, the changes that will meet the criteria outlined in the law, which is that it be sustainable without taxpayer um, support. Well, thank you. Uh, given the current budget crisis that we have in this country, and I think everybody on the dais, and, and certainly you would agree with this, uh, we have a tremendous budget crisis. And understanding that you are asking for money to sign people up for a program that you say is unsustainable. Will you pledge here today to work with this committee to ensure that the CLASS program, the CLASS Act, is truly sustainable before the administration proceeds with program operations? Yes, sir, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, thank you, Madam Secretary. And the last thing that I wanted to uh, uh, address with you, uh, and this is kind of a follow-on to uh, Chairman uh, Dingell's line of question earlier uh, regarding H.R. 1. And he asked you a number of uh, yes or no uh, questions, and I think you responded pretty much to every one of them, uh, yes, uh, that H.R. Uh, 1 and the $61 billion worth of cuts would hurt this program and that program and the other program. Uh, do you believe that we need to restore fiscal sanity to our budget, yes or no? Yes, sir. Do you believe then that the $61 billion in discretionary cuts in the CR for fiscal year 2011 contained in H.R. 1 will help the federal government reduce its current budgetary deficit, yes or no? Sir, I believe that the president has put a very responsible budget forward, and it's one that... Not talking about 2012 now, Madam Secretary. I'm talking about H.R. 1, the CR, and the $61 billion worth of cuts that Chairman, former Chairman Dingell was uh, attacking. I support the president's notion that we have to make smart and strategic cuts. So, so the answer, the answer is yes. I thank you, Madam Secretary. And, Mr. Chairman, I'll yield back my 13 seconds. I Chair, don't thanks, think the gentlemen. answer was yes, but... The gentleman's time has expired, uh, and the chair recognizes the gentleman from New York, Mr. Weiner, for five minutes. Thank you.